gym, if we don't have the next uh, episode like Netflix does on our platform, we are not gonna win. The truth about decreasing car prices has finally been admitted by Jim Farley, the Ford CEO, who has had his work cut out for him since taking control of the company in October 2020. But what's the root of the problem? It's not about developing new EVs or scaling production. It's about the dealers. In fact, the Ford CEO has waged war on them, recognizing that they're giving the Ford brand a bad reputation. Join us as we explore the details of what the CEO has just admitted and why this could be a major turning point for the industry. Let's begin. In order to fully grasp the extent of this issue, it is crucial to have an understanding of the dealer network. The establishment of this network by Henry Ford over a century ago allowed Ford Motor to become the first car manufacturer to offer a franchise system for dealerships in 1908, enabling them to rapidly expand. This franchise system has largely contributed to the success of Ford car dealers in America. It is now protected by laws that prevent manufacturers from selling directly to customers and undercutting dealers. These laws also permit dealers to set their prices, rather than being obliged to sell at MSRP. However, with the advent of the internet and the rise of electric cars, some grey areas in this legislation were not accounted for. While dealers have been accused of abusing their position, they are now pushing back and taking action against Ford. However, the dealers have faced significant resistance, as even though Ford claims the deal is optional, it is not. Dealers who do not subscribe to either of the two packages will not be permitted to sell Ford's electric vehicles and will be limited to selling only its gasoline and hybrid vehicles. In the long run, this could lead to the closure of these dealerships as people move away from gas-powered vehicles. There is significant opposition to Ford's actions in Connecticut, where the dealership association and a state senator have condemned the company and indicated their intention to take legal action. Senator Richard Blumenthal has particularly been vocal about the issue, suggesting that Ford may be violating franchise agreements and calling for an investigation by the Federal Trade Commission, FTC. Reports from CT News Junkie and Ford Authority highlight the tension and pushback that Ford faces over its EV sales approach. Blumenthal stated that he is convinced that a case warrants investigation. He plans to bring this case to other state authorities, including the Attorney General, as he believes that the franchise rules may also be violated. Furthermore, he believes that the Federal Trade Commission should take an interest in the matter. In response to the issue, the current Attorney General, William Tom, issued a statement through New Haven Democrat Representative Roland Lamar who co-chairs the Legislature's Transportation Committee. In the statement, Tom urged Ford to ensure that the burden of new EV infrastructure investments does not solely fall on local dealerships. Ford Motor Company did not immediately respond when asked for feedback on this issue. However, during a press conference in late November, several executives praised the automaker for expanding into selling electric vehicles while disagreeing with its decision to issue dealers with a costly ultimatum. Jeff Eosa, the legislative co-chair of the Connecticut Automotive Retailers Association has stated that the program's current structure makes it highly unlikely that smaller franchise dealers in Connecticut will be able to sell electric vehicles. This is due to the high expense associated with the program, which may prevent dealerships from experiencing a return on investment, regardless of their size. Senator Heather Summers has accused Ford of deliberately trying to destroy franchise dealerships in Connecticut which, she claims, have benefited the community by providing jobs and automotive services. She believes that the investment required for local dealerships is staggering and that the time frame in which they are expected to read and respond is unreasonable. Dealers have primarily objected to Ford's demand that they pay a significant upfront fee to become EV certified. EOSA explained that the fee is a fixed price, which means that smaller dealerships that sell fewer vehicles may struggle to justify the cost, making it a difficult program to participate in. Senator Summers believes that this demand is unacceptable and an invalid request. Several dealers have expressed concern that the inflexible nature of the system requiring large payments, regardless of dealership size, could force smaller dealers out of business. This is a valid concern, as no small business can afford to pay $1.2 million in the current economic climate. Although there is a $500,000 option, it only allows dealers to sell 25 electric vehicles per year, which is not an attractive proposition for them. 
Therefore, the only viable option is this deal, which permits dealers to sell as many Ford EVs as possible. They believe Ford is intentionally targeting smaller dealers and making it difficult for them. And it's working! Ford is facing resistance in multiple states, including Arkansas, Illinois, New York, and Connecticut, according to Automotive News. Dealers are challenging the automaker over these new regulations. The Arkansas Automobile Dealers Association was the first to act by filing a complaint against Ford with the State Motor Vehicle Commission in October. Later, in November 27th, Illinois dealerships filed a similar objection, and four New York dealers filed a lawsuit against Ford a few days later. According to Automotive News, the New York lawsuit could automatically halt Ford's dealer certification program while the judge considers the case. The lawsuit argues that the requirement for dealers to invest in one of the certification tiers to sell EVs is illegal. Ford's response to these lawsuits has been limited, with the company stating that the program complies with all relevant laws. In addition, Ford CEO Jim Farley has stated that the company is pursuing a new strategy to aggressively push dealers to embrace electric vehicles and improve the sales system to compete with direct-to-customer brands such as Tesla and Rivian. The fixed pricing feature of the certification program that prevents dealer markups is the most significant benefit for customers. However, dealers have not been helping their reputation in recent years, and public perception is at an all-time low due to numerous complaints from customers who were charged way above MSRP. Despite facing numerous lawsuits, Ford has been unwavering in its approach, with only a few dealers given a small extension of a few months and no changes made to the certification requirements. However, amidst all the uproar, Ford CEO Jim Farley surprised everyone by announcing that 65% of US dealers have already agreed to sell EVs under the company's new investment program. According to Farley, nearly 3,000 dealers in the United States, including approximately 1,924 dealers, have agreed to become EV certified and sell EVs at MSRP. He also stated that about 80 dealers invested $1.2 million to be fully certified. Investing in smaller packages is pointless for any sizable dealer. This became evident when the new certification program was introduced on September 17th, causing an uproar among dealers. However, just three months later, the majority of dealers agreed to stop markups, sell at MSRP, and pay a fee of $1.2 million. This shows two things. Dealers have had a few very good years and have the money to invest, and they understand that the future is electric. If they do not opt in, they will be left behind. Unfortunately, this still leaves roughly one-third of the dealer network unable to sell a single fully electric Ford vehicle from January 1st, 2024 to at least January 1st, 2027. Most of the dealers who rejected the Model E offer are likely located in rural areas of the US, where the adoption of electric vehicles is slower, and they don't sell enough cars to make it viable. So although they may not feel the pain this year or next, it is easy to predict that they may regret their choice in 2025 and 2026. With the increasing proliferation of electrification, some automakers have incentivized their dealerships to sell EVs. However, Ford has no plans to follow suit and is not offering buyouts to dealers who are hesitant to invest in selling electric vehicles. According to Marin Yaya, chief customer officer of Ford's Model E electric vehicle business, the company wants to provide its dealers with a choice. Initially, it appeared that there would be a conflict between Ford and its dealers regarding this issue. However, now it seems things are returning to normal, and Ford will continue with business as usual. Despite this decision, Ford has implemented a new certification program for its dealerships. It remains to be seen whether this program is fair or not. What do you think of this decision? Comment below and subscribe to stay informed about the latest news regarding EVs and technology.